So I've owned a Scuff Reflex Pro at launch. So I got the launch Scuff Reflex Pro. So I got it when it was $249.99. So I paid a lot of money for this particular controller. Now it's a lot cheaper than it was before. Yeah, I've owned the AIM controller as well since launch. So I've owned this controller actually since the launch, PlayStation 5 launch. So I ordered this December of 2020. That's when the PlayStation launched. PlayStation launched in November, I ordered this on December. So, the, so at that time, AIM controller was one of the only companies that were offering custom controllers. You know, in doing those times, Scuff never had their controller. So the only viable option to get a custom controller was just to pick up one from AIM controllers or pick up one from a former company known as Shark controllers. But I thought AIM controller was more of a reputable organization and I felt a little bit more safe and secure in terms of placing my order with AIM. When it comes to the question is which one of these two back buttons I like best, right? Obviously the scuff controller has really nice back buttons. So it has four of them, two on the mid and the inside and two on the outside. It's very, very easy when it comes to playing games to place your hands um, on the two side ones and on the two middle ones, but it's a little bit of a challenge sometimes placing on the middle ones, but the side ones are a little bit easier when it comes to pressing the button on the scuff controller, right? Obviously the AIM controller as well has four back pedals and it's very easy to press your hands on all four of them. Obviously the AIM controller has changed significantly since launch. And you can see like a picture here of the actual controller, what it looks like right now. And yes, it has changed a little bit, but I guess the overall aesthetics is practically the same. The grips are a little bit better, much nicer as well, but it's practically the same and the pricing is almost the same as it was before. This cost me $248, but I got a $50 coupon code that knocked that down to $200 US dollars. So this is a little bit cheaper. It also has the instant triggers as well. This is one of the reasons why it costs that much. And these are really clicky and really nice. The biggest edge that the scuff has over the aim is the profiles. So once you turn it on, there's different profiles. So there's green, there's blue, and there's also red. So different profiles, you can map the buttons to, uh, to certain profiles. So if you're playing racing games or FPS games, you can have different profiles as well to play the game. So that's a really amazing for a lot of folks who uh, play multiple games and use your Scuff Reflex Pro. Obviously the aim control does not have the ability to have profiles yet. So I'm not too sure if it's something they're working on, but at the moment it doesn't have profile. So that's one major edge that the scuff or reflex has over the aim controller. Another great feature people like is the fact that you can change the thumb gears. Cause I know some people like to have different thumb gears on theirs. So with the scuff, you can literally remove the front panel right here, take this off and you can remove it and put different like thumbsticks on there. Inside the box, the different thumbsticks height that come with the scuff reflex controller and they're very neatly packed. So once you go ahead and you remove the panel, you can remove the control from the module and then you can be able to change it, have different heights and stuff. The aim controller comes with the ability for, the, for you to change the thumbsticks as well. So you can change the thumbsticks and you can have different thumbstick heights. So this comes with standard with all aim controller. You know, at the time of um, when I purchased this controller, you have to choose your particular height and then that's what you get. You don't get any other like thumbstick height. You have to purchase them separately. But now AIM actually offers them standard in the box. So they give you all the thumbstick heights standard in the box. It comes with every AIM controller, which is, which is nice. So lastly, when we talk about the build quality, so this is the, that's the AIM controller. Obviously it's solidly built. Um, love the grips. The grips, I've had these grips. I've been using it for the uh, last two years and it's, it didn't scratch nothing. It's like, you know, I don't know how AIM paint their controllers, but you can definitely see that they spend a lot of time priming it and, and putting it together because their controller does not fail and the, a, the quality of the controller is just top, top, top notch. The Scuff Reflex Pros and the Scuff Reflex has the best aesthetic in terms of like the build quality. They definitely designed this and put this together in a, in a, like in a factory, but you can tell that the design, even just the way how they kind of pay a little bit of attention to the, the triggers as well. You can see a little bit of design on the triggers. Um, just the way how the triggers feel as well. You can definitely see that they spend a lot of time designing this controller and putting it together. So, my, so by far, I think this is one of the best modded controls I've seen so far in terms of professionalism and this all well, well put together. The AIM controller offers something that's really amazing. I think that set this up far above the scuff, lifetime warranty. AIM controller releases recently their new lifetime warranty on all their builds. So this is covered 
for lifetime in terms of the build quality and in terms of anything break on it. You do have to pay the shipping cost after three months to send the controller back and to receive it, which is okay. Like, you know, you just have to pay for shipping and they'll re repair whatever issue that the controller may have. That is extremely pro-consumer, extremely generous of AIM. Scoff on the other hand, I know a lot of people have, like it's all over Reddit. A lot of people have a lot of nightmare about scuff repairs and how much it costs. So scuff gives you a six months of warranty. That's it. After six months, you have to pay for the repairs, whatever may be wrong with the control, even if it's, it's a manufacturer fault, whatever the, the, the issue may be, even if it's a build quality issue, whatever it may be, you have to pay to repair it. You also have to pay to send the control to scuff and to get it back. In terms of like the warranty alone, I would definitely say that the aim is better. But in the grand scheme of things, it definitely depends on your pocket, your budget as well. Scuff is expensive. It's a lot more expensive than getting an AIM controller. AIM controller offers a lot more value in the warranty aspect that is covered for a lifetime. So if I was supposed to buy a controller today, I don't have a controller, I want a pro controller to play with, um, and I'm gonna buy one today, I'll definitely go with the AIM controller. The reason being, the Scuff is nicer. Don't get me wrong, but the reason being is because of the lifetime warranty. Now, if things break, my instant trigger broke on this controller twice and AIM was able to replace it and send it back to me free of cost, right? Not a lot of companies do that. I know for sure Scuff would not do that, especially after six months of use, right? And instant triggers are things that go, it's a clicky trigger, right? The mouse trigger, they break a lot on these controllers. So I'll definitely have to say that AIM controller is a controller that I would personally go with, but doesn't say that scuff is not a great controller as well if you want to pick up a scuff it's still an amazing controller either controls you get you'll be happy but i would personally go with aim controller because of the lifetime warranty and it's because of how supportive they've been personally for me in terms of reaching out to them and get my control repaired so with that said thank you so much for watching the video king of Thunder 771 here uh if you find this video helpful at all and if you're still here, please consider hitting that subscribe button to help us get to a thousand subscribers. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before Christmas, which is not very, not very far from now. Like it's a couple of weeks, but I believe that we can do that as a community. So again, here on the 771, I'm out for now. And I'll see you until next time. We are going dark.